Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about simple interest. So when we say interest, it is the money that is paid for the use of money over a period of time. So the basic examples na pwedeng makapag-represent when we talk about interest is if we have a savings account sa bank. So every time na nagde-deposit tayo doon, there is a certain interest na pwedeng madagdag sa pera na dineposit mo. Or pwede din naman na kapag nanghihiram tayo ng pera sa bank. So, nanghihiram tayo and then magpapatong sila na um, interest doon sa pera na hiniram natin. Okay? So, when we talk about simple interest, we need to remember this three terms or three words. So, the first one is the principal. So, when we say principal, this is the amount of money that is earning interest. So basically, ito yung original na money or amount or base na amount. And dito, kinukuha kung magkano yung interest na ipapatong sa money mo. So yung principal, let's say, halimbawa nag-deposit ka ng pera sa bank worth 2,000. So yun yung principal. O kaya nang hiram ka ng pera sa bank worth 5,000. Yun yung principal amount or money. Okay? And then the next one is the rate. So when we say rate, it is the percent of the principal charge for the use of the money over a given period of time. Uh, usually annually or yearly. So it is the number in percent form, yung rate, no? And then it is used doon sa principal para makompute yung interest na ipapatong dun sa pera, pera na dineposit mo or hiniram mo sa bank. No? So, yung rate, tandaan nyo lang yung may percent na sign. Yun yung rate. So, let's say 3%. 3% interest, ganyan. So, yun yun. And then, last but not the least, yung time. So, it is the number of time periods during which the principal remains in the bank or has not been paid back. Time is usually expressed in years or parts of a year. So, yung time, sobrang laki ng uh, involvement niya when we compute interest. Kasi, um, time yung mag identify of course, kung magiging malaki ba or maliit yung magiging interest ng principal na amount na pera mo. Okay? So, usually, ang ginagamit when we solve simple interest is annually. When we say annually, it is yearly, no? Or pwede din months, basta parts ng year. Okay? So, yun. So, when we say time kasi, um, kung gaano katagal nakadeposit yung pera mo sa banko, so, meron yung factor kung bakit Ganito yung amount na interest mo kung mag, kung gaano siya katagal na deposit sa bangko. Pwede din kapag nanghiram tayo ng pera sa bangko, kung gaano mo katagal na bayaran yung hiniram mo na pera. So, malaki yung factor ng time in computing interest. Okay? So, now, uh, let us solve some examples wherein we will solve the value of the simple interest. So let's say we have this given problem. So we will find the interest of 3,500 pesos for 5 years at a rate of 15% annually or yearly. So first, we should write the given here. So we have 3,500. Obviously, this is your principal. Yung amount ng money mo. Okay? And then yung rate natin is yung number na my percent sign, obviously that is 15%. And then when we talk about rate, it should be in decimal form. So 15%, kapag ginawa natin siya in decimal form, it will become 0 0.15. And this is your rate. Okay? And then lastly, yung time natin, which should be in years. Okay? So dito sa problem na to, Five years siya. So, perfect. We have five years and that is your time. Okay? Now, for us to solve the interest, we should remember this formula. So, ang pagkuha po ng simple interest, ang formula niya 
is I is equal to P times R times T, wherein the capital I represents your interest, P represents the principal, and then R represents the rate of interest, T represents the time. Okay? So, for us to solve the interest, we have I is equal to P. Yung P natin kanina is 3,500 times yung R natin, which should be in decimal form, is 0 0.15. So, sulat natin 0 0.15 times yung time natin in years, dapat, so 5 years. So, we have 3,500 times 0 0.15 times 5. You can just um, straight up type this in your calculators, kahit yung basic calculators lang, and you will get the answer. So, ang interest niya is 2,625 pesos. So, that will be your interest. The interest of 3,500 at 15% rate for 5 years is 2,625 pesos. Okay? Then, let's solve another example. So, let's say we will find the interest of 7,250 pesos for 7 months at a rate of 6% per year. So again, let's write the given below. So 7,250 pesos basically is your principal. No? And then yung rate mo is 6%. You should write this in decimal form. So kapag sinulat natin si 6% in decimal form, it will become 0 0.06. And then lastly, we have 7 months as our time. But then, kung napansin nyo sa una nating problem, the time should be represent in years. Okay? Para wala tayong problem. But then, in this given, sa months siya. Months yung units niya. Therefore, kapag ang given po na time is in months, what we need to do is that we need to divide it by 12. Kasi 1 year has 12 months, ba? So, si 7 months, kailangan i-divide natin siya sa 12. Okay? Kasi 12 months represents a year. So, kailangan yung time natin para wala tayong problem in solving should be in years. Pero in this problem, months yung given. Therefore, we need to divide that by 12 pa. Okay? So, in this na 7 months yung gagamitin natin, when we multiply, what we will do is we need to use 7 over 12 as our, or as the value of our time. Okay? So, yeah. So, we have 7,250 as our principal. 0 0.06 is our rate. And then, we have um, 7 over 12 as our time. Okay? So, the solution is that using the formula, I is equal to P times R times T. I is equal to yung principal natin is 7,250 times natin sa rate which is 0 0.06 times natin sa time which is 7 over 12. So basically, in this problem, you need to use a scientific calculator. Kasi um, I tried... I tried dividing 7 by 12 and yung lumabas is a repeating, a non-terminating decimal. And then, magkakaroon tayo ng confusion kasi mag iba iba yung um, answer ninyo kapag ginawa nyo tong decimal. And then, you will multiply it 
by the rate and the principal. So, you should type 7 over 12 in your scientific calculators. So, the interest when you type this is type this in your calculators will be 253.75 pesos. Okay? So, I am going to insert a clip wherein I use my um, scientific calculator app in my phone no, na tinipe ko itong given natin. Okay? So, I'm going to insert here after this part. So, hi, if wala kayong scientific calculator na physical, you can install sa Google Play Store si FSC. So, ito. So, just type FSC and then hanapin nyo lang yung icon na to. Okay, and then lalabas na siya and then pwede nyo siyang i-install for free. So, pag in-open nyo siya, ganito yung itsura niya sa loob. So, di ba, kanina, there is a problem wherein you cannot make 7 over 12 as a decimal number kasi it is a repeating and non-terminating decimal yung lalabas. So, kapag ginawa yun, there is a possibility na maiba yung answer nyo sa tamang answer. Okay? So, kailangan i-type nyo straight up si 7 over 12 in your calculators. But then, the problem is, paano kung wala kayong scientific calculator? So, that's why I'm giving you an option na mag-install in your fo phone. No? Sobrang madali lang siyang gamitin. So, as you can see, kanina, kinuha natin yung interest. Yung principal is 7... 7... 1,250. We need to multiply that by the rate which is 0. Um, 0. 0.06 and then times nyo lang siya. And then kung nakikita nyo to, yung um, may dalawang box ito on the left side. So, yun yung fraction. Pwede nyo i-click yun and then um, i-type nyo yung fraction na given. So, the fraction given is 7 over uh, 12. 12. Okay? And then, you can just uh, click equal and then, lalabas na yung answer. Okay? So, ganun lang pong mag-type ng fraction. But if you have a scientific calculator, you can just Type straight up on the scientific calculator. So the interest of 7,250 at 6% for 7 months is 253 pesos 0. 0.75 centavos. And then for our last example, we have this problem. So, we need to find the interest and the total amount in the account for a 20,000 pesos deposit for 24 months at a rate of 30% per year. So, dito, we will look for two um, answers. So, the first one is the simple interest and then yung total amount dun sa loob ng account niya for 24 months and merong rate na 30% per year. So, first, sulat muna natin yung given natin. So, first, we have 20,000. Obviously, it is yung, it is yung money na deposit niya in her, in her or his account. So, it is the principal. And then, the rate is 30%. Should be written in decimal form. So, it is equal to 0 0.3. Okay? And then, yung time, kung gaano katagal yung principal niya in, in his or her account is 24 months. Okay? Just like the second example, it is in months, no? So, we should be dividing 24 by 12. And when we divide 24 by 12, 
whole number yung makukuha nating answer. So, therefore, 24 divided by 12, that is equal to 2. 24 months pala ay equal sa 2 years, no? So, imbis na 24 over uh, 12 yung gagamitin natin, we can just straight up use 2 years or simply 2 kasi they are just equal. So, yun yung time natin. So, first, let us solve for the simple interest. Kasi dalawa yung kukunin natin. The total amount of the money and then the simple interest. So, yung simple interest muna yung isolve natin. So, simple interest, ang formula niya is I is equal to P times R times T. I is equal to, yung principal natin is equal to 20,000 pesos. So, 20,000 times our rate which is 0 0.3. Yung time natin, we can just straight up use 2 years. Okay? So, lagay natin dyan 2. So, you can just type it, type this in your calculator and the interest will be 12,000 pesos. So, the interest of 20,000 pesos at 30% rate for 24 months is equal to 12,000 pesos. But then we are not yet finished kasi we will be finding the total sum or amount of money na meron na yung may-ari ng account na yun. Okay? So, para makuha natin yung total amount ng money doon sa loob ng account, we need to add the principal. So, total amount of money. So, let's say that is TA, total amount. We need to add the principal and the interest para masolve natin kung magkano na ba yung pera niya sa loob ng account niya. Okay? So, the total amount is equal to 20,000 which is yung principal mo plus yung interest na sinolve mo is 12,000 pesos. So, ang total amount na ng money niya inside the account, sorry, is 20,000 plus 12,000 that is equal to 32,000 pesos. So, the interest of 20,000 at 30% 30 for 24 months is 12,000 pesos. And sa loob ng 24 months, ang sum ng money na niya inside the account plus the interest, kasama na yung interest, is 32,000 32, pesos. So, that's it. That is how you compute the simple interest.